There was something that happened in your life that made you decide you needed to make a feature film very quickly. What was that? And how did you manage to get it up so quickly with, as you told me, very, very little money? Um, some of you know this story. About, I think, uh, 10, 11 months ago, my beautiful wife told me she was pregnant, um, which was great news. And um, I, uh, I was um, just been wanting, like all directors, wanting to make a feature film. So I set out to make one before my kid was born. And um, luckily enough, my production company, Luscious and Chad, this is probably directed at Chris and Georgina and Sebastian. But uh, throughout the film, you see this relationship between Grace uh, develop with uh, quite a pessimistic man. I was just wondering if, in the end, you see a positive light and if it's a case of two roles make Do you mean, like, does she, uh, by the end of the film, does she understand him more and why he was doing what he was doing, and does she see that positively? Well, I think less so the understanding of, um, of him as a person, but uh, the, the relationship between the two people, them as being quite pessimistic people and yeah. having quite a volatile relationship actually works out to better both of them. Yeah, I think they both learn from each other. Um, yeah, definitely, I think it, it's such a weird journey that they go on together in a way um, and I had a lot of questions of why does this young girl agree to go on this sort of violent um, journey with this man but I think the beautiful thing about Grace is that she doesn't judge him, um, she kind of sees a bit of herself in him and that he's damaged and she relates to um, his feelings of loss and so I think just by sharing that with someone she heals a little bit. Um, it's probably a healthier way for her to heal than other ways she's been trying to heal. Um, yeah, what do you think, Christian? That was a good answer. <laughs> Was it that you were trying to portray with that? I mean, obviously you kind of get a feel for it, but I just want to know your like ideas behind it. Um, well, first off, uh, well, we should mention that James Brown, the cinematographer. <laughs> conversations about the look of the film and, and our style and, and what we like and we had sort of worked on a few ads together so we kind of knew our sensibilities and um, two reasons and you can disagree with me on this on James uh, that we decided to do really sort of tight close-ups um, one is obviously the intimate and the intimacy that it sort of portrays and sort of it becomes a much more personal journey and two became a production thing that you know we didn't have a lot of money and, and our locations were limited so we sort of a lot of our, our decision making was sort of how do we cover a scene or how do we make it look a certain way or tell a story without having the luxury of all these sort of massive wides um, we had to sort of create sets with very limited stuff so a lot of times going in tight was like a sort of a good way of of kind of doing what we needed to do within our limitations. But obviously we wouldn't have done that if it didn't fit the story and, and sort of go in the direction of, of what we were trying to do. So it was sort of various reasons. I'm a little bit related to that. Um, you had such a fantastic sense of like location in the film, I thought. Um, how did, I guess, Sydney, like, influence the choices you made in the film, like the location, how did that, because it was, it evokes such a great sense of Sydney, I thought. Um, our locations manager, Emma Hudson's here. Uh, and, 
again, she did an amazing job because again, we were sort of just working out who we knew, and, you know, sort of what we what we had at our fingertips to kind of get around. But in a in a sense, for me, for Sydney, is that you know a lot of times you see Sydney shot either when it's sh shot by the American studios coming here, they're pretending that it's not Sydney, so they're sort of just avoiding it as a whole and just making it to be some anonymous city. Or a lot of times what I find that when Australian productions are sort of shooting Sydney, it's either the western suburbs or it's the beach or the outback or something like that. You never really sort of see, see Sydney as an urban sort of major sort of city as you would see Paris or New York or London or whatever that might be. And I really wanted to make a movie that showed Sydney in that light um, and really show the two different worlds. So he sort of he had his past life with his wife and his and his uh, parents-in-law, which is sort of the rich, affluent eastern suburbs, and now his sort of new life, which is much more the urban and gritty sort of life, and sort of these two worlds being very different. Um, but again, showcasing Sydney in a very sort of, hopefully, in a, in a new way. Great, Great job, guys. Really, really good job. job. Um, what, what was your favorite, favorite scene to shoot, shoot and, and why? why? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think a lot of we actually did shoot in sequence, so I ended up uh, really enjoying the warehouse stuff. Um, and it's strange, it was one of the hottest, humid days, and that there was a kind of a we're all at that stage, it all kind of come together, and we're feeling really excited about it all, and the kind of mayhem of that scenes kind of. Um, But um, no, I, I really enjoy the warehouse scenes. But uh, Georgina, which one do you? Oh, I like when we stepped into the house um, because yeah, we were kind of stuck in there for a few days, and it was very cramped and kind of all fed into a bit like the heat in the warehouse. You're saying fed into what was happening in there. Um, yeah, it was really fun. I got to learn how to smoke a crack pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I did learn how to do that, Mum. Um, that was first, just so you know. Um, <laughs> in case you're worried. Um, yeah, no, but I, I think it was sort of felt like almost a theatre performance because we were we were in there all day rehearsing and shooting and, and got to kind of live in the space and that's always nice when you when you get to live in the environment that you're shooting in. I think. Anyone else? I just wanted to ask a really practical question. What was the budget of the film? Where did most of the funding come from? And how long did it take to shoot? <coughs> we shot it in 14 days. Wow. We, um, we, it was just sort of a decision that, you know, we, it was self finance and we won't go into the budget because a lot of people gave uh, their time and resources and I think that had a certain value. Um, but we didn't have any government funding and we went and sort of just asked for some friends and family to sort of give money. Um, so it was low, but you know, again, with the, the, the crew and the, the production company and everyone that's sort of put in, it, these are professionals who do their job really well. So, you know, it, it was proper. 